eBay's international shipping program is here and I'm going to tell you why I'm going to make the change to accept international shipping and why it's a lot better than GSP global shipping program. I'm going to tell you about that on the other side. So without any further ado, let's go. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This is John from Flippin Ain't Easy. And I wanted to make this video about the eBay international shipping program because it was very confusing for me. This evening, I sat down to try to dive into it because I was going to make a determination if it's something that I wanted to migrate over to or just opt out. And I wanted to know how to do all that. And yes, I received an email uh, maybe about a month, a month and a half ago that said I was already opted in the program, the new program to replace the global shipping program. But I didn't know what that meant, to be honest with you. I didn't care because, as many of you guys know, um, I recently opted out of all international sales because of the uh, nitpickiness of eBay. Uh, I was selling a Logitech keyboard, and they said that I wasn't allowed to send a Logitech keyboard to Europe. And uh, you guys know my troubles with the folks in the back office at eBay. I simply just decided, you know what? No more, no more global shipping for me. I just turned it all off. And all my shipping policies have been domestic up to this point. And I haven't really tried to sell internationally. At least that's what I thought. So um, I'm going to talk to you about that here in a minute. But I think it's important to kind of establish the different international shipping options that are out there because it's somewhat confusing. And um, in its current state, as I make this video right now, you can set up your shipping policies to have an eBay international standard shipping policy, okay? And all that basically means is, is that eBay is going to charge a fee based on the dimensions of the package and the weight, and you're gonna ship it to the customer uh, in the respective country, provided you haven't you know, excluded that country from being one of the ones that you're gonna to ship to. And you do that all within your shipping policy uh, and you do that for each policy you have in place. I have like 10 of them where I have you know a few items that are free shipping domestically, um, but not internationally. Um, you know, I have some that are charging like $4.99 for up to eight ounces, $7.99 for up to a pound and uh, some calculated shipping policies. So I went in there tonight not knowing any better and I basically tried to turn on eBay international standard shipping thinking that was the new program, but it's not. And when you look at your listings, you basically you're getting paid the shipping to ship the item to the customer directly. And that's not this new program. This new program replaces the global shipping program. Now for you guys who uh, may recall um, up until this summer when the program ends, Global Shipping Program, and some of you guys may still be enrolled in Global Shipping, but essentially all it is, it's a program where it opens up your items for international buyers to buy your item. And as a seller, all you do is ship it to Erlinger, Kentucky. Uh, the buyer pays eBay additional fees for shipping and handling. And once the item gets to Kentucky, then eBay repackages it if they need to and they slap the label on to the buyer's respective country. And in the past, you know, if you have an INAD item not as described or some type of damaged item return, it's a royal pain in the butt and in some cases leads the seller to have to not only give a full refund, but to pay pretty much what the buyer paid to get the item back uh, in the cost of a return label, which could be in some cases more than the entire transaction cost itself, which is uh, a really a down point for a lot of sellers who may have opted out the global shipping program because they didn't want to bother with expensive returns. So um, there was ways to navigate through that. In the past, it was one of those things where you'd make the argument with eBay after the buyer opens a return that uh, there's no way to know how this item was handled after it left the United States. And in many cases, uh, eBay would just, once the buyer opens a return, eBay would just go ahead and give the buyer a refund and um, leave your money alone and all was well with the world, but not always. I've had a couple instances where I've had to 
eat like I think fifty dollars in return shipping labels, one for a uh, a uh, Microsoft Surface tablet that the buyer had used for two weeks, used the hell out of it and probably damaged it, but then opened a return when they damaged it and it didn't work. So that was sent back and I had to pay upwards of 40 something dollars for a return label. So it, it kind of soured me on the whole global shipping program. But what recently turned me off of international shipping was the idea with that Logitech keyboard where they're saying that uh, I can't ship a keyboard to Europe, which doesn't make a bit of sense. And uh, so I said, you know what, I'm not getting enough international sales to warrant this stress and this headache. But digging in further with eBay's international shipping process, the new, the new program that's actually on board for many people right now and will be rolled out for everyone um, by sometime this summer, at least that's what they say, um, that's going to change the game entirely. And it's going to replace the global shipping program, eBay's global shipping program. It's also going to replace the eBay international standard shipping program. Okay, so this is very confusing though because currently my shipping policies um, are domestic, but they were when I tried to switch over were set for international, and that's not the way you do it. So. Um, Essentially, I'm going to show you here in a little bit how to set this thing up. But before I go in and show you how to set this thing up, um, I want to tell you what the features are. And in this particular program, eBay International Shipping Program, um, no longer are there going to be any returns. Okay, so you may have returns set on your item, but if that international buyer decides there is an issue with the item, they're dealing with eBay. Okay. So your money is frozen. They have an issue with the item. They may contact you, but ultimately they need to open a return. And once they open a return through eBay, eBay gets involved and the item is essentially returned back to eBay. And eBay keeps the item and who knows what they do with it. They might relist it. They might donate it to charity. I don't even care. Um, but just know you're off the hook on giving any kind of refunds. That's between eBay and the buyer and you don't have to worry about accepting any kind of returns. It's just uh, a way that I think should GSP should have been done a long time ago. That's what should have happened a long time ago. And eBay finally, I think, got it right in this particular situation. Additionally, um, if you sell an item to an international buyer um, with Global Shipping Program or even the current uh, eBay International Standard Shipping, you have to pay additional fees because that person is an international buyer. Usually it's like a couple bucks depending on the, the price of the item. Well, with this new program, um, you don't have to worry about, they're gonna waive those fees. So the only time I can see you having to pay international buyer fees to eBay is if that international buyer is in the United States and you're shipping it to them. That still is a thing and I don't think that's gonna be waived. Um, otherwise, it's not going to cost you anything additional to ship it and to sell it to someone in another country. And uh, because there's no more work to do, you're still shipping it to another location. I don't think it's in Kentucky for this particular program. Um, I just didn't take the time to research where it is. I don't care really as long as it's domestic. Um, once it gets to eBay, it's between eBay and the buyer. And that's all I want as a seller. I, I want the easiest um, low effort solution to reach out to many more buyers outside the United States. Yes, I can imagine that these buyers are going to be paying quite a bit, not only for the cost of eBay to ship it to them, but I'm sure there's other fees involved because if eBay is volunteering to give refunds on certain transactions, then they're not taking a hit out of pocket, trust me. So I don't know how much this is going to cost uh, our buyers, but if a buyer wants your item bad enough, then I think it's worth at least setting up. Now, once eBay contacts you and tells you that you're enrolled in the eBay International Shipping Program, um, you'll automatically be opted in. So um, I'm gonna show you how to, to opt out if you want to, but uh, you're automatically by default opted in provided that your shipping policies, and you have to go into your business policies to change this, 
but provided that your business policies are set only for domestic shipping, you have to have all of your international shipping options shut off and you turn them off. Now, if you're still on GSP, you don't do this. You leave it as GSP in your shipping until they send you a message saying that you've been switched over, okay? This is only if you've been switched over from GSP to the new policy. And you should have an email from, from eBay stating that's happened. And I think about half of you should already be switched over. So let's go over to my computer and let's take a look at the steps, not only to, to opt out if you wish to opt out of this program and just do your thing, right? And I'm gonna show you uh, how you go into each of your individual shipping policies and to turn off international shipping to just to make it a domestic shipping policy to make this work. It doesn't work if you have your individual policies set to international. So you have to have them set as domestic. So let's get over there and I'm going to show you what I did tonight to fix mine. So I wanted to show you the steps that you should be taking. Now you see I have a lot of different shipping policies and um, what you have to do is you have to go through each one of your shipping policies. I think I have like a dozen here to cover every scenario um, because I have different package sizes, but that's not important. Um, what you need to do is let's take this two pound US, uh, USPS priority mail shoe box uh, policy. Um, in order to set this up properly, you need to edit, go into edit your policies and you need to turn off international shipping altogether. So no international shipping. Okay. So you're just going to be left with your core domestic shipping policy and you save that. Okay. And you have to go into all of your shipping policies and get rid of every possible international shipping reference. So I've done that for about half of these. Okay. So I'll do another one here. I'll go into this one, the 999 flat rate policy. Again, that's set for no international already. So that one's set. Um, I'll go into this two pound shoebox size, 15 by eight by six, and you can see there's no international. So a lot of these are switched over, but you gotta go through each and every one and make sure uh, that it's set. Now, what this means is you won't have to have a separate domestic shipping policy, like for gun parts, for instance, that you can only ship within the United States versus you can't ship that internationally. I had a bunch of domestic shipping policies set uh, that were separate from international. You don't have to have that anymore. Uh, it's all going to be domestic. So according to what I know with just talking with the rep, the US rep uh, about this new eBay international shipping program, that your, your policies are now going to be domestic and your what distinguishes, so if you go into account settings and you go into um, your business, actually you go into shipping preferences, not business policies, but shipping preferences. You'll see at the very top here, it says eBay international shipping. And you're going to see this only if eBay has set you up. If you're not yet set up to uh, be out of global shipping, the global shipping program, GSP, um, which I think everyone should be uh, changed over by summer from what I understand then you'll see this if you're set up for eBay international shipping and now it shows opt out so it gives me the button to go in and opt out and I can opt out for all these different reasons here but um, I don't want to do that and uh, so I'll leave it as it is it just basically says that I'm enrolled okay now um, simply ship the item to our domestic shipping hub and we'll handle the rest so I don't think it's Erlinger, Kentucky, but it's going to be a similar address to that. And that's all you do is you're going to ship it domestically with your domestic shipping policies, and then they're going to take care of the rest, if that makes sense. So hopefully this explanation kind of cleared things up for you, because for me, it was clear as mud until I kind of dove in. So I called this evening, spoke to a rep because it was very confusing for me. And at the time when I set everything up, I set everything up with international in my policies and it was showing eBay international standard shipping, which I knew was not it because that's going to be discontinued in July. So this rep didn't even know, it's a US rep, and she had to kind of look into it. I started digging into the policies and no matter how you have your listing set up, it was very clear 
You cannot have domestic uh, international setup. It has to be domestic. So hopefully you guys were able to, to you know, figure out if you want to do this or not. I think it's nothing but positive. And I'm going to be uh, moving over as of this video. My listings are going to have the new eBay international shipping process set up in place of GSP. And if you still have GSP, just a matter of months before you switched over. So if you enjoyed this video, if you found this information useful, please hit the like button. Um, consider subscribing to the channel, guys. I'd certainly appreciate that. And of course, if you want to be notified when we go live or make another video, hit that notification bell so you're notified when that happens. When eBay makes these changes, a lot of times it's in their favor, such as the eBay International Shipping Program. But in this case, it's much better than the Global Shipping Program, GSP, and it is much more seller focused, finally. But yet, understanding these policies, and hopefully this video helps you understand the policy a little bit more, is just yet another example of how sometimes flipping ain't easy. And I want you guys to have an excellent rest of your week. Comment down below if you have any questions or concerns, and we will see you and talk to you very soon. Thank <laughs> you.